mid 80s, my parents started Peachy Canyon Winery. We worked in the winery as kids. I grew up with it, not wanting anything to do with it. They put me on labor crews when I was a kid, pruning and picking and shoot thinning. And, and I grew up and I bolted. And Jake did as well, right? We're out of here. Fire in the hole. And then I got a call to come back in 98. 2000, I came back. We'd always wanted to do something on our own, and we were literally kicking back during mid-harvest, drinking beers. Hanging out on the crush pad. And then all of a sudden, I just threw out chronic sellers. Chronic means good. We use that term to describe the best of the best of everything growing up. We said chronic, does that mean like pain in your back? They did something we haven't seen in the industry in many, many years. When working with family, you get the best and worst of everything. And throw the sister-in-law in the mix too. She runs our tasting room. She's a hard ass. We wanted to create an image that popped, it stood out, and had an opportunity to sell itself. Quality, price, and imagery, those all had to line up every time. At Chronic Cellars, we have an, an array of different spices through different barrels and grape varietals and so many different lots and so much to work with. We have a lot of cool stuff to blend with. Naming Chronic Wines is something that happens sort of organically. I try not to force it. Purple Paradise came to us while we were in what we consider paradise, and that's Mexico. Dead Nuts idea came driving out through these old walnut and almond orchards. Sofa King Bueno is an old college joke. I'll take the names to people and they'll be like, that's horrible. And that's usually what I know. That's a pretty good idea. The art and artist, Joe Calionzis, is a childhood friend and he has just a unique style. Once we have a label idea or a name idea, I'll take it to Joe. He kind of listens to us rant like, oh yeah, we want to do this. And Joe does exactly opposite of what I ask him to do and it's always awesome. I like to run with it myself, um, all the while just kind of going, okay, Jake. The rebellious part of me wants to kind of make it my own. I don't think you can compare our tasting room to anybody else. We're definitely different and fun and laid back. They walk in and it's something that they can literally let their hair down, which is different from any other tasting room around here. It's, this is true California right here. I don't think anybody else has a pool table or horseshoes or cornhole. One of the coolest, most heartfelt testimonials that we've gotten from customers is that they've come in here and said, hey, I like Chronic Cellars wines. I never even had wine before. Chronic Cellars has given us an opportunity not just to compel consumers, but to create them. That's what's been really fun about Chronic Cellars is that the package and the whole thing has really, it's got its own life.